storm headed toward Texas right now. Yeah, and as lovely as it here is here, Eric, I know you got to be watching what's happening to the south. Yeah, it's quite the contrast between the two areas, and actually everything stuck in the same kind of pattern. So we are stuck in gorgeous weather here in New England, and meanwhile the west is stuck in heat, and it means Harvey is going to be stuck right near Texas, and that's a storm that's going to stay there for about seven straight days. So certainly something we'll be watching carefully. Around here, though, tell you what, it has been fabulous. 81, the high temperature today. It's been a slightly warmer than average August, but we're about to embark on a slightly cooler than average stretch. So it's going to be a typical month, and that follows last August, which was the hottest ever recorded in Boston. We like it this way. This is a little bit more comfortable for sure. Temperatures tonight in the 50s and 60s, dropping off a little bit more because the air is so dry. Great sleeping weather continues. Dew points in the 50s, even on Nantucket tonight. So comfortable air mass. And we're talking about that continued feed of cool and dry air coming down out of Canada. There's Harvey tonight making its way towards South Texas, making landfall late tomorrow night. It'll be after this hour, heading into Friday night and Saturday morning. And then we have this feed of northwest air coming into New England. This is going to provide a long stretch of beautiful weather for us to enjoy. So a couple clouds in the morning and temperatures in the 50s, midday, low 70s, and then tomorrow afternoon, we're well into the 70s. Be about three or four degrees cooler than what we had out there today. But it's another beauty. Great Friday night kicking off the weekend. Sunset is at 729. It's going for a high of about 74 in Boston, Taunton to 77, Worcester around 72, and Jaffrey 71 on the cool side for tomorrow afternoon. Pending to the beach, mid 70s, a little bit of a west northwest breeze. Water temps, I think, have peaked. They won't get any warmer than this from here on out because we don't have a lot of hot days in the forecast. We have comfortable days, though. High pressure dominating the weather for Friday, Saturday. Sunday, a slight change, and this will linger into the start of next week. More of an onshore flow out of the east-northeast. This is going to give us certainly a more autumn feel, some cool temperatures, but still mainly dry weather. So this weekend, both days are fine. If you wanted to pick one, I say Saturday is probably the best. A little bit sunnier, a little bit milder in the mid-70s. And then Sunday, it's mainly lower 70s with a little more cloud cover around. Turning up toward the lakes region, it's basically low 70s, a mix of sun and clouds, a low humidity tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Great weather and um, humidity, really, not even showing up here. Dew points 40s and 50s all the way into next week. So we won't have any of the mugginess returning to the region. The one maybe minor complaints you could have, and for some of you, maybe it's a major complaint, it's the pollen. We're at that time of year where it's ragweed, it's grasses, it's nettle. It's a really dry stretch, and so these are going to stay very much an issue for us heading into next week. Mention Kenny Chesney at uh, Country Fest as we look toward tomorrow night and Saturday nights. Cooling off quickly into the 60s, staying dry. Marshfield Fair continuing about 75 on Saturday, 72 on Sunday with that onshore breeze. And you look at the seven day and I mean, what can you say? It's within a couple of degrees every day, mid 70s for the most part, some upper 40s to mid 50s at night. And maybe we get some rain showers by Thursday and even that may not come to fruition. Uh, Lehman Lisa, Harvey, maybe some of the remnants come at us, but it'll be in Texas till probably Thursday next week. Wow. wow. Eric, thank you. It is a championship.